system phone settings and function keys can be programmed from the menu on the system phone or from the browser-based user portal. To program from the system phone menu on either the desktop phone, the Windows PC soft phone as shown here, or the iPhone app or the system phone on the Android app, just go to the menus option, scroll down to phone settings, click select, scroll down to define function keys, click select, pick the redefine keys option and then we can either scroll down through the function keys on the right hand side or go directly to the key that we want to redefine. In this case we've selected the ninth key down on the function keys on the right hand side and it's flashing green and it's an undefined key at the moment so we select that key and now we have a list of the parameters that we can assign to it. We can scroll down through these tr uh, lists. It can be a redial key, day-night ringing, conference call, intrude call. There are many functions that we can assign to the key and we can make it an any line key, an alarm key, a call record key, place call on hold. If we want to redefine it to be a hold key we must be careful to avoid conflicts because an alternative key on the system phone that may already have been defined as a hold key will lose its function if we redefine this key to be a hold key. We can define it to be a message key, call forward key, do not disturb key, mute key, many but we must avoid conflicts. We can define it to be a key to give us direct access to a meet me conference room, auto answer key to automatically um, answer calls that come to our extension without them ringing that the system goes automatic that the phone automatically goes on hands free we can use it as an intercom key that will put system phones that we ring from our extension into hands free mode automatically and we can make an intercom call to them we can use it as an activate key for alternative IP devices that are registered to our extensions, for example, a remote IP system phone or a smartphone app, or we can redefine it as an extension key. So if we select the extension key option, we can scroll down through the list of extensions, or we can click on the first name of the person that we want to assign it as, and then and get there we can um, select and that key is now defined for the extension that we've selected we can go back and continue redefining keys or exit programming similarly we can go to the browser-based user portal from here we can set the phone volumes, that's the ringer volume, the handset volume, the headset volume, the loudspeaker volume and also the phone contrast of the display on this page. Now the next icon is for the phone settings. Here we can enable or disable do not disturb. It's disabled at the moment so we can enable it by clicking on the button beside it. We can enable voicemail forwarding, recorded calls forwarding, receive page calls. They're all enabled here as indicated by the green display. Auto answer is disabled we can enable that we can opt out of 
group 83 or 86 and on the other settings we can change language set an alarm called time implement day night changeover it's at day ring at the moment we can switch it to night ringing by clicking here when we set it's back on the system is on night ringing now we can change our email address or the pin code the remote number that can access our voicemail or the call credit rate the last icon on the right hand side of the top of the browser based user programming page is to set the function keys on system phones we can set the function keys by the drop down menu opposite each key where we can pick a function or a contact or an extension name that we want to assign to the key so if we go back to the ninth key down that we defined as an extension we can redefine it to be a name from our contact list where we put in the first letters of the person's name to whom we want to assign the key as a speed dial key and we pick the number from the drop down menu and now the key is assigned to be a speed dial key to that name from our contact list we can see then that on all of the system phones that are registered to that extension the change that we've made applied here it's shown on the android app version of the soft phone that that key has been redefined as a speed dial key for that name so that's an overview of how we can f program the settings on the extension system phone and the function keys either from the system phone itself using the menus or from the browser-based user portal